Good evening, everybody. It is 5.04 in the evening. It is July 28th. 28th, 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 28th. Twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty eight days, or I should say, Miss Congeniality. This is part one of Joyce Meyer Beauty for Ashes. I once was bound. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and in irons, because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Psalm 107, verses 10 and 11. Chapter 1, Part 1. Trophies of Grace. Many people appear to have their lives together outwardly, but inside they are emotional wrecks because they have been traumatized by abuse. A victim of trauma is someone who has been wounded physically, that would be me, or emotionally, that would be me, by some sudden or substantial shock that created severe and lasting damage, that would be me, to the psychological development of that individual. I believe there are many traumatized people, that would be me, in the world who have been so abused, that would be me, in the past, that they are psychologically deficient. That would be me. They are unable to function normally. That would be me. In everyday life, there are people who have been through such trauma that it severely jarred their emotions because they endured something that was so awful it was unspeakable. That would be me. Sorry, I'm not in a very good mood today. Can you tell? It's because I've been in pain. And I evidently woke up in a bad mood. And I've been in a bad mood ever since yesterday. <sighs> Surviving the trauma of abuse can throw people into a state of psychological damage. That prohibits them from functioning properly in relationships with others. Such victims do not understand what is wrong with them or how to get out of their destructive behavior patterns so they can live a normal life. I wish I could live a normal life. That would be great. But no, that's never going to happen. That was my situation before I learned how to gain the victory over the trauma in my life. Through seeking God and reading his word, I found that the Lord's main concern is our inner life. Because that is where we enjoy his presence. Jesus said, For behold, the kingdom of God is within you, in your hearts and among you, surrounding you, Luke seventeen twenty one. emphasis mine. This book is a summation of how God taught me to triumph through Christ over the tragedy of abuse in my life. After I had spent many years preaching his word, God led me to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. <laughs> what a coincidence. He was 14 years old. But thanks be to God, who is Christ always, leads us. Uh-huh, I know you see me, Michael Jackson. I know you do. To rise up within me as I considered all that God had done for me. He spoke to my heart that day and said to me, Joyce, you are a trophy of my grace. And you are helping me get other trophies. 
Then I had a vision of a display case in heaven filled with trophies. I understood that when someone wins trophies, it is because that person is a champion at, at what he or she does. If people have baseball, golf, or bowling trophies displayed in their homes, it is obvious that they have spent a lot of time developing their skill in that particular area. God is the, <laughs> the champion at bringing people from a place my ear just popped. That's why I laughed. Whenever I said the word God, my ear just popped. This ear, this ear has been popping a lot lately. And it's probably not a good thing because anything that goes on on the inside of my body is not a good thing. God is a champion at bringing people from place from a place of destruction to a place of total victory. As they reach that place of victory, they become trophies of his grace. And they are set on display as a fragrant reminder of God's goodness. I share my testimony in this book to help those who are still in the process of becoming a trophy for God. Nobody can help me. There is no help for me. That's what I feel like. I feel like there is no help for me whatsoever. It's been 10 years that this has been going on. And I've been in pain in my vagina for 8 years. And it feels like abuse. So either I'm being abused and or somebody else out there is being abused. And it needs to stop. There is no help for me. And I was abused whenever I was a little kid. I wasn't going to do it this way. And I wasn't going to say it. Because you know what? I was scared of my brother. I was scared because whenever he told me that um, uh, he was going to kill me if I ever told anybody. Well, guess what? I'm telling the whole fucking world now, aren't I? Yep. That's right. I'm telling the whole world. So you know what? We'll see if I die. That's why I have this book. That's why I have this book. And I was scared. I was scared that he was going to find out that I was telling the whole world. But I did a random drawing. And I know I'm ugly. And I did a random drawing. And that's just the way it happened. And you know what? I forgave my brother. But you know what? I'm not going to do it this time. I am not going to forgive all those people who are physically hurting me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it this time. So guess what? I am not going to make it to heaven. So you know what? This is pretty much pointless. Through both tragedies and triumphs, I have learned that Jesus is my king, and he wants to be yours too. The kingdom he desires to reign over is our inner life, our mind, will, emotions, desires, and thoughts. The word teaches clearly that the kingdom of God is not a matter of getting the food and drink one likes, but instead it is righteousness. This, that state which makes a person acceptable to God. I know I'm ugly. Thank you. It keeps hurting my teeth right here. And it's that means that it's really ugly. And so I'm being told that I'm really ugly. You remember all the pokings and stuff that I told everybody about? Well, that's what's going on. And it's been going on for two days. And I'm fucking tired of it. But instead, it is righteousness, that state which makes a person acceptable to God and heart, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. He who serves Christ in this way is acceptable and pleasing to God and is approved, approved by men. Romans chapter 14 verses 17 through 18. In other words, God is, if God's kingdom rules within us, we will enjoy righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. We will also be acceptable to God and approved by men. Oh, well, gee, I'm not. So, I guess I don't have God's spirit living inside of me. Although, I was told that I did. <sighs> I'm 
Because I can say Jesus is Lord, and I can say Jesus Christ. I watched some exorcism videos the other day because I wanted to learn more about exorcisms and stuff like that. Because if I am, if I do have demons, then I want to learn how, how the fuck to get rid of them. I know, I'm such a fucking hypocrite. I'm, I'm sitting here with a fucking Christian book in my hand and I'm cussing. You know what? That's how mad I am, for some reason. For the last two days, that is how mad I have been. I'm not going to tell you one of the reasons why I'm mad, but I should. But I'm not going to right now. Anyway. We will also be acceptable to God and approved by men. Jesus said that we should not worry about external things, such as food and clothes, but that we should seek, aim at, and strive after, first of all, his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. And then all of these things taken together, taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that means they lied. Together will be given us... Besides, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Gee, what a coincidence. Before all else, we are to seek the kingdom of God, which is within us. And then all of our external concerns will be taken care of. When we accept Jesus as our Lord, he rules. See, I can say Lord. I can say Lord. I was in pain whenever I said Lord. But I can say Lord. There are some people in these exorcism videos. I watched one on. Hold on. My mom is calling. 